think that funny, do you? going, Reuben? Anywhere. Somewhere. I've had it with gold. I lost your supplies. No matter. I got robbed, Reuben. Tricked by a swindler. He waited till I slept. And then... And who's going to believe me? I'll be hung for crime. Best come along with me. What are you going to do? Anything but gold, Bill Muggins. Anything but gold. Rose! Pearl! Jesse! The boat's coming, we must go to it! Fox, is this all really necessary? We must beat the boat. You and Pearl will sort this out. Please to be reminded that Charles Satcher is writing, among others. Me and Jess are gonna sing with him, aren't we, Jess? If he agrees. Maybe. Depends on what the others are like. What's up with Captain Walker then? our story, a tale grim and gory, way back in the old West Coast days. When gold was a-glowing, and beer was a-flowing, and ships might get lost in the haze. Two blues came prospecting for gold days collecting. Rob Wilson. And Lennox, the James. They made an arrangement, a mateship engagement. Together we'll stake all our claims. We might strike it rich. You'll sleep in a ditch where it's cracking about. While stories go round of the gold we have found, dust down in a hole in the ground. Dust down in a hole in the ground. Tonight, you will stay at the Magdalene. Two shillings each, with all. As you will. Where Charles Thatcher is now, we're in for a Wild West Coast brawl. We're in for a Wild West Coast brawl. I thought you were dead. Get your plate to me off me boat sails. You'd best leave me, Captain. Come on, Robert, I'll buy you a drink. And I present to you the inimitable. The West Coast Law Amendment Act of 1864. The West Coast Law Amendment Act of 1864. <laughs> 
I'll build us a fire. Be easy with an X. She gave me the evil eye. Who did? The girl. The girl Robert. There were lots of girls. Them birds are creepy. The wicker? Are they not strange? They're not scared of anything. I'm not scared of them. They can't even fly. I'm gonna make a trap. Catch one. Of course, we could go our separate ways. That you, Robert? Worry not. We only offer supplies. Reuben? Met you up north? James Lennox. This here's Bill Muggins. Heard you was after an axe. You're on your own? Only I've been looking to partner up. Got a good lead on the Caledonian. Robert, see what Bill Muggins got. Come sip. Share the fire. You were taken up by the Burgess gang last summer. How does the defendant plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Oh, Silence, please! People of the court, the points to be considered are only two. First, whether the body found was that of Lennox, the former mate of Wilson, and secondly, was Wilson the murderer. Did you discover a body, Sergeant Hill? Yes, Your Honour. A body was discovered. <laughs> and a half axe. <gasps> <gasps> Witness, Garvey! The body was in a creek in the water, only about half covered. I turned it over to ensure myself that it was the body of a man. <clears throat> Dr. Rockstro? Either of the wounds on the head would have been sufficient to cause death. James Lennox wore a red coat and brown dungarees. He would read every night. Yes, he also told me how some months previous he had purchased a pair of tailor boots. Those were similar. Well, I saw the prisoner about Friday after. I asked him where was James. He said he thought he'd gone down to the Caledonian with Reuben. I met the prisoner at Deadman's Creek. He was with James. Bill sold him some supplies. I knew James to be trustworthy and asked him to partner me. But then I realized he already had a partner. James said he would meet me in a few days' time at the Caledonian. We left and I never saw him since. You never saw James Lennox at the Caledonian. Miss Pearl. The prisoner went by the name of Robert Wilson and his mate was called James Lennox. James carried a red coat and he wore a blue scarf. I remember also his boots. Boots that clearly had belonged to Lennox. Of the body found in Dead Man's Creek does not rest on a few threads of evidence. 
but on mass testimony, all pointing to the same conclusion. There is one offence gravest known to our law, that of murder. Robert Wilson, I find you guilty of the murder of James Lennox. Do you have anything to say why sentence of death should not be passed upon you? No, except that I am innocent of the crime, Your Honour. The law reserves for you the doom of death. For that, prepare. Robert Wilson, I hereby sentence you to death by hanging. Oh, shite.